for humans, learning is like uh, food and sex. It's a, it's a deep pleasure. The paradox is how did school kill that instinct? In terms of evolution, if you if you have no capacity to learn, you wouldn't be with us anymore anyway. Because you know, learning at its best is a pleasure and a joy to human beings. It's really only in school that people find it a pain. And we know it can be revived because the commercial industry of video games and other popular culture practices have learned they can sell learning. Because they learn that in the right setting, you recover this primordial pleasure that humans find in learning. Now, one of the most crucial uh, principles in this type of paradigm of learning that is very problematic with school is in this type of learning there has to be a relatively low cost of failure. A video game realizes that if the price of failure is high, you won't explore, you won't take risks, you won't try new things, you get uptight, you think in very narrow ways. So they have to lower the price of failure and basically you know you die, you go back to your last save. So there's a price, but it's it's low enough that it says to you, why don't you take some risk? Why don't you explore everything? Why don't you rethink your goals from time to time? Why don't you even try a new style? In a world full of complex systems that are interacting with each other to give us more and more disasters like our current economic system or our global warming, we really want that video game theory of intelligence. You're not intelligent because you rushed to be efficient in a goal you never rethought. You are intelligent when you've explored thoroughly and you've thought laterally, not just linearly, and you have rethought your goals. And in modern games, done so collaboratively in multiplayer and having to compare and contrast your solutions and also having different skill sets. In many video games, you play in a team where everybody has a different skill set. Much like modern science, where you take big challenges that are heavily thematic and you combine scientists with different skill sets, but who learn to collaborate and learn to have some common language. That's actually a way of playing today, too.